Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a crucial topic for anyone working with Spring Boot applications. We will be talking about test coverage. Specifically, we'll explore how to measure test coverage using IntelliJ's built-in functionality and Jacoco with Maven. Why is test coverage so important in software engineering? Test coverage is a metric that helps you determine how much of your code is being tested by your test suite. In the software industry, maintaining a high test coverage ensures better code quality, reduces bugs in production, and gives developers confidence when refactoring or adding new features. By the end of this video, you'll know how to easily measure and analyze test coverage for your Spring Boot application. As example project, I will be using a Spring Boot app we built in a previous video, but that is not a strict prerequisite for this video as you can follow along with any Spring Boot project using Maven. So let's get started. Here we have the project we built in the previous video. So it was simply a weather app using Spring Boot and Java. So let's start with the first way you can actually run test coverage using IntelliJ built-in functionality. This is quite useful as you don't have to install anything extra. So let's go in the root of the directory of our application and let's expand. So we have our test folder with all the tests that we wrote. We have these tests uh, written for all this source code up here. So let's see how to run unit tests with test coverage using IntelliJ. So go on the root of the test folder, right click on it, go to more and then run all tests with coverage. Going to to run all the tests you have written against your code base and it will give you as a result this table over here. We can see that the total test coverage for this weather application is 85% for uh, the classes. So 85% of the classes were covered in this test coverage, 67% of the methods and 60% of the lines. And you can go inside and for each package check the code coverage for each of the class. So if you double click on it, you can see that this green and red appear next to each line of code and this tells you which code uh, has been covered by your tests and which has not been touched. Let's go to, for example, a resource class and let's see what's going on here. As you can see, we have some really good test coverage. If we open the test, we can see that we did go through each line of code with this test we have written. So uh, this is nice, but let's say you wanted to export this and send it to someone. You can easily use the built-in functionality to generate a report with the IntelliJ test coverage uh, plugin and you can click on this arrow going out and this is going to create a HTML report and you can actually just send it around. Once the report has been generated we can actually see it here under the main directory so it's under HTML report and if you expand this we can actually see an index.html and we should be able to just open it here so this is how it looks like. Let me just close all of these. So it gives you the same thing as this table on IntelliJ, but you can actually send this to your colleague or someone you want. It looks a bit nicer in my opinion. So you have a coverage breakdown by package. You can just go inside and click and it will give you the same UI as we just saw on IntelliJ. The one on IntelliJ maybe it's a bit more interactive because you can do changes, rerun the code coverage, tool and this will update. To update the um, HTML report instead you will have to export and then open it on, on the browser to see any changes. Uh, this is how you can use the integrated IntelliJ tool to find out test coverage. This will quickly give you metrics that you can look at and use to determine if you need to write more tests for your methods or code. Let's now do the same thing we just did with the IntelliJ test coverage tool. But instead, let's now use an open source library called Jacoco. Jacoco stands for Java Code Coverage, and you might be wondering what's so special about it. So the main thing is that Jacoco integrates really well with popular build tools like Maven and Gradle, as well as CI/CD pipelines and tools like SonarCube for code quality. 
It also generates really detailed reports and I'm going to show you how to integrate it in our Spring Boot application. So let's go back here and let's open the pom.xml file. Jacoco is a plugin, so we are going to add it in here. So this is the plugin you are going to need. On the main goal called report is going to uh, generate a test coverage report for us. Let's add this and we are also going to need the path where we want to save our Jacoco report. So it's a configuration. Let's add it in our plugin. So as you can see, I have defined the path of where I want this to be saved. Uh, by the way, if this stays red, just click on this icon that is going to reload your Maven changes. Okay, so we have our configuration that defines our target directory. So now how are we going to generate this Jacoco report, you might be wondering. On the right hand side, click on the Maven tab, go to Lifecycle and let's run the tests. So the test run has been successful. We have generated this target folder. What we want to do now is create the actual report. So let's click on verify. This was successful as well. So we can see here in our target folder, there have been some directories created and one of them is called Jacoco report. Let's expand it. And if you go down here, we have an index.html file and let's open it to see what's, what's inside. Let me close these. Okay, so this is how this report looks like. It's quite similar to the one generated by IntelliJ, but you can see it has way more data points and it's very similar. So the total test coverage of our application is 57% and if you go inside any of these packages, for example, let's go into the entities, uh, it gives you a really nice way to see uh, how much of this class has been tested and it even gives you a detailed breakdown of each of the methods that have not been tested. So in this case, this is how this looks like. You can click further inside and it will tell you, for example, we have not tested this icon property and so on. So this is all really nice. Again, you can use this report to see what's actually missing, but Jacoco is even more powerful. You can actually define if you want to fail a build if certain criteria are not met. Let me explain what I mean. Let's go back to our palm.xml and let's add something else, which is a rule. We want to add it down here. I have added a rule that says to fail our build if at least 80% of code coverage is not reached. So let me show you what I mean. If you open Maven and if you try to do an install, this should fail. And as expected, this fails as the code coverage for the test has not been mapped. If we lower this threshold, let's see what happens. Let's see 20%. We saw that we have a code coverage of 57%. So in this case, this should pass. So if I click on install again, you can see that the build this time has been successful with this different parameter. This is quite powerful. You can play with these rules. You can have various combinations. For example, you can fail if the overall package threshold is not met. So you want a certain threshold for the packages. You can create a rule in here and this will be executed when you're building your application. This is quite powerful. I hope it was clear. I tried to keep this brief and to the point. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it somewhat useful to reach your goal. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it allows me to keep creating more and better content for you, all completely free of charge. See you on the next video.